Hello, good morning campers. This is the beginning of the journey to McGee Airport in Idaho. And just thought I'd stop here after five miles and show the awesome scenery crossing the bridge here. Still have another 55 miles to go. And I might just do 35 of that today. Depends on what I feel like. But a uh, good beginning so far. <clears throat> so 35 miles until McGee Airport. And it's pretty good. About to go uphill for five miles. Yep, it's warmer than expected. But here's a, some information on the area. There's Mickey. There's Honeysuckle Campground. That's where I got to last time. And then it was raining cats and dogs. And uh, I was miserable and turned around and went back. <laughs> so here we are at Fernand's Saddle. Uh, about five miles of hill. <laughs> It's starting to rain a bit. But that's okay. Yeah. And there's so many miles to everything. Okay. This is where I made it last time and there was a downpour <laughs> and uh, yeah it was miserable and that's where I, this is where I turned back but now I'm going that way and see how far we can get about three o'clock I guess there's the Coeur d'Alene River <clears throat> for you Okay, so what is the Lyberg River or creek or stream or something? Going along that and headed to Lyberg Saddle. I was had like a crazy thing I was thinking. It seemed like it took so much less time this second time out this year. Uh, I mean, getting up to Honeysuckle Campground and where I turn right past the Coeur d'Alene River. But then the parts after that are seeming to take longer. Um, and also, there are these nice three gentlemen out hunting elk. And they were asking me, did you see any elk? And... I didn't see any. I said I didn't see any yet, but uh, they caught me up down the trail and were asking if I'm okay and everything. And then I said, well, that, my only concern is having enough water. And they were really nice and gave me a little bottle of water, nice and cold. <laughs> so anyway, we're head up to Lyberg Saddle. And then there's another thing. I'm not getting much signal out here. I mean, duh, I mean, out in the woods, uh, sort of, it's a road. So, somewhat similar, civilized, but, uh, yeah, it's, you imagine something and then you get 
to there and then it's a little bit different but I'm having a good time it's, it's good adventure so, see you down the trail yeah now it's starting to get thundering -y and lightning -y. But we're almost up to Liebert saddle I believe and uh, it said nine miles away So it's probably about seven miles to go. Almost. So we're at the last turnoff, and I think I go that way because it says 422 Forest Road. Uh, but I'm just gonna check to make sure. Ooh, you see that lightning? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's fun. So just like four miles ago, I guess. Action. Okay, so we made it to McGee, at least the warming hut. And I believe the airport is over there through the trees. So good enough. Looks like we made it. I'm about to leave the McGee area. <coughs> There's the airport over there. I can't really see it. Those guys were asking about elk. <laughs> yeah, I definitely heard something last night. Kind of sounded like you think an elk would sound. Glad they weren't there. Upside down. <laughs> so this is a good viewpoint here. I am feeling fatigued, but <laughs> it's taking my time. Get there eventually. I don't know if you can hear me with all the, the traffic, but uh, I was just looking at these cloud formations. And they're really kind of bizarre. <laughs> Look at that perfect circle. <laughs> almost, almost the whole circle there. And then there's a circle there. And then that is kind of weird. Just, Look at that cool rainbow, if you can see that. Uh, the rest is pretty normal. 